faraway desert land, proud and noble descendants of a formerly great civilization were conquered by invaders. History tells how the invading armies took all the gold and silver and forced the natives to work in the mines and in the fields. Old and young alike were pressed into service and made to spend long hours under the blazing sun. See that old lady? She's just like my grandmother. Oh, the cruelty she suffered. I've run this film for over 20 years, and every time I cry, to think how my parents were made to suffer. That's why I created you, Ferno, a mighty robot with tremendous strength and power. And now it is up to you to prove your worth. With your help, mankind will feel my revenge. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the International Robot Competition. And here's the first event. No! Action! Action! Terrapin, the Tricky Turtle. Meets Toro, the brutish bull. Mechanical brain versus mechanical brawn in a contest that lasts until there is an undisputed winner. May the best robot win. knows who Dante really is, but he's challenging the world's champion robot fighter, Cassius Mudd. Uh, yeah. Somehow he disturbs me. <laughs> you are doing very well, Ferno, my precious. But it's not enough just to win. Now you must completely destroy your opponent. qualified and not allowed to enter any future contests. It looks as though the official robot mechanic is asking Ferno to leave. It or I'll give you what I give the others. Astro Boy is my name. Oh, you feel mighty brave up on that wall, don't you? Okay, Ferno, I'm down, and I'll say what I said before. Mm -hmm. You have no right to be so destructive. So, you have courage after all, but not for long. You'll take even less energy to dispose of than the other two. <laughs> so, you have 
jets, have you? Well, so have I. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I guess there is really no need to continue this. My precious Ferno has proven himself quite worthy. Now we have other work to do. Huh? Oh, I'll take care of you later, Astro Boy, as you will see. Uh-oh, here comes Dr. Elephant. I can't say you did wrong, Astro Boy, but as your guardian, I do wish you'd be more careful. There it is, Ferno. The Institute of Science. That is where Dr. Elephant and Astro Boy work. You want revenge, do you? Well, here's your chance. In there are kept top secret inventions. Do not think their plans are not well guarded. They are. But listen, you are not to waste time destroying any of the laboratory equipment in there. Do not be satisfied with the experiments. Get the plans. Understand? I want you to go in there and go straight to the main vault. Destroy it and all who would stop you. Do a good job, Ferno. Make me proud of you. <laughs> the fury of Dante's Ferno. I didn't hear those footsteps. Wait a minute, Tick. Yes, Doc? How'd you know I meant footsteps? If you want to look into it, I won't stop you. What do you mean? Why should I go? Because I'm the guy who went for coffee. Ha. All right, Tick, I'll tell you what I'll do. The short string goes. Pull. Uh-oh, uh -oh, you got the short end. I guess that means you go. But I'm always the one. Now let's see who goes according to my rules for choosing. Whoever says ouch must go. All right, pal, you didn't say ouch. Let's be buddies while we look around. Hey, do you smell something burning? Oh. <laughs> Hello, Central! Give me the police department! I mean the fire department! Oh, you know what I mean! Send help! Get the plans! is working, Ferno. Listen, I am leaving now. Join me on the mountain road. Well, I see he got my message all right. Good work, Ferno. Come in, my precious, come in! You are to be congratulated, Ferno, for such a splendid job. But that is only the beginning. Only the beginning! <laughs> Who 
comes in the middle of the night. Oh, it is you, Dante. That is right, old woman. You should be cautious. Now open the secret door. Yes, right away. <laughs> Here we are, Ferno. All ready to continue. Uh, what shall we call it? Uh, Operation Mole? Get to the tunnel, my precious. We cannot waste time. We have much to do tonight. Happy digging! <laughs> Headlines now. Mount Smokem blows its top. <laughs> Ferno, this is your master. I'm listening. How far have you gone? A hundred more feet. Just a little farther to the core of the volcano. What's that noise? Why, I do believe Ferno has done it. Now we can light the fuse for the world's greatest fireworks! <laughs> oh, great place for a vacation, isn't it? Smell that air. Lovely. Ah. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Look at that! The big safe at the Institute! Mother, Father, look here! Something wrong, son? Yes, you sound mighty disturbed. Listen, last night a robot destroyed all the plants at the Institute. What is the name of this robot? It just takes a few bad apples like that one to ruin it for all of us robots. I think it was Ferno. Wait a minute, what's that? Whoa, 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 what? Earthquake, hang on, Father. Wow, some shock. Let's see if there's anything about it on TV. We bring you a special news report. Mount Smokum has just blown its top. Even now, flaming rocks are raining down on the sleepy little town of Taciturn. But there's no sleep today. Women and children are running in all directions, not knowing where to go to escape this hail of fire and brimstone. <laughs> I hope Astro Boy can hear me. Why, it's Dr. Elephant. Astro Boy, if you can hear me, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, stop and go to Taciturn. Mount Smokum's erupted and people need help. Hmm. Son, duty calls. Right. Change the course of the lobby. 
if possible. But first, I've got to warn the people. interfering in my business, Astro Boy. Why, you... And I don't give a hang for your opinion of me. Look, Astro Boy, why not come over to our side? No! You don't know the opportunity you're missing. You, Ferno, and I would be invincible. Mm -hmm. If you're the one behind this, I think you're a fiend. I'm busy now. Please don't interfere with my work. <laughs> I don't care if I lose my life. I gotta save the town of Taciturn. Lose your life, you shall. Take care of Inferno. <gasps> Thought should get away, huh? Don't play games with him, Inferno. I want him obliterated. Stop it now, Inferno. The lava's getting closer all the time. I know. <laughs> Inferno is just too great for Astro Boy. He is powerless to stop us now. for saving my life. I can't ignore anyone in danger. Uh-oh, i better hurry. Ferno's power back. Use it instead of endangering your own life. Ferno, you won't be needing your power pack. I hope he's got enough power left. Smokum is still erupting. How can we stop that? I 
I'll just have to find a way, if it's at all possible. <coughs> yes? I think you are very strong, but it's hard to stop a volcano from erupting. But if I don't stop it, the whole valley will fill up with lava. Or was that a part of your evil scheme? <laughs> <laughs> this is no time for tears. We've got work to do. Do you have any ideas? We, we might use a freezing bomb, but they're very rare. Perhaps the Institute has one. That sounds as though it might work. However, you might be frozen. Therefore, as repayment for my life, I want you to wear this. I hope you will find it useful. Now go, Astro Boy, and good luck. Astro Boy should be around here somewhere. Maybe that man has seen him. And that's the whole story. So Astro Boy went to get a freezing bomb at the Institute, huh? He'd better get a move on before the entire mountain explodes. Look, there he is. We should have... <gasps> the smoke stopped. But where's Astro Boy? Perhaps the freezing was too much for the lad. <gasps> I see. There he is. Astro Boy, you're white hot. Huh? I don't understand. I thought I was frozen for good. But then the attachment worked and I was just as warm as toast. Thank you very much, Dante. It really saved my life. I am happy that the heart of my infernal machine has proven useful. I know now it was wrong to seek revenge. But would you have come to that decision without the help of Astro Boy? You embarrass me, Doctor. I'll go and tell the people in town that the danger's passed. I hope they all realize how fortunate they are. See you later! And so Astro Boy says goodbye to Smokeless Mount Smokem. And to Dante's Infernal Machine. Mm -hmm.